Hi everyone, so this is a top tip about guard petals on roses. So in previous tutorials, I have shown you how to condition and treat roses. If you've missed any of them previous tutorials, why not go to our blog on our website? So our website is flowerschoolireland.com. Scroll down through the buttons till you find the blog button. And if you click on that in the drop down menu, there's lots of tutorials on how to treat different types of flowers. So how to condition roses, how to prolong the life of hydrangeas, how to get your lilies open, how to condition jip, and lots, lots more. But one question we get asked a lot about is the guard petals. So these are the protective petals that's up around the outside of the rose. If you can kind of visualize when the rose is born or comes into bud, and these are the tight petals that are coming up around protecting the bud. And then as the rose blooms and blossoms and blows, as we call it, these petals are normally around the outside. And the best way to describe them is they're tatty looking. They look a little bit worse for wear and a little bit weathered. So these roses that I have here are the avalanche roses. So I'm just picking one that I can see the guard petals kind of very prominent on. So this particular one here. So this would be an avalanche rose. It's a beautiful rose. It's been two days in water. So I've conditioned it like say two nights before. I normally leave the brown paper on it for four to six hours. So again, you'll see that in my conditioning video. And then I remove the brown paper to allow the roses to blow. So these are just nicely blown after two days and they can still like continue to blow and there's still plenty of life left in them. But if you come in close here, you'll see this is what I mean by the guard petal. So this particular one, like there's green marks on it. Now some flowers might like to leave these on and they might feel that it adds to the feature of the rose, especially if it's maybe a vintage theme. But some customers would look at them roses and say, oh my God, the roses were rotten and they were dead and they just don't understand it. You can see how long it takes me to explain it to you and you're interested in flowers. So you can imagine with the customer. So just to save all the hassle and all the grief is just to get your fingers in there and you just pick off the petal. So that is the guard petal. And there's normally two or three of them. So on this particular one, there's definitely three. And this is my third one here. As you can see there, that one's fairly marked. Now this one here has a little bit of green on it. It's just like, you know what I mean? It was probably a little, the edge of the petal was to the outside. It's completely up to you. Do you want to remove that one or do you want to leave it on? Sometimes I give the inside a little bit of a blow. And again, that will just help to blossom or bloom the rose that little bit more for your bridal bouquet. So I'll just show you another one. So again, I'll just take out another one of these roses. So again, the avalanche rose, these are around 60, 65 centimeters, which, which is a good length when you're buying roses in for wedding work. And again, if you come in close there, you can see there's one of the guard petals there. It's very tatty. And this one here, there's a second one. And again, the edge of it, you can see is really marked. And there's our third one here. And I find that probably three is enough. This one here has a little bit of a mark on it. So I'm actually just going to remove it just to kind of clean it down that little bit more. So some flowers describe it as cleaning down the roses. And sometimes for Valentine's Day, if you get a job in a florist as a junior, well, this is what you will be doing a couple of days beforehand. You'll be removing the thorns and the leaves, but also you'll be removing the guard petals. Again, just another one here. And again, if you come in close here, you can see just that little petal there. We just kind of pick it off. This one here, we pick it off. And we come around the back here, you can see this other one. There, you can see the mark on it. And again, I'm just picking them off with my finger and thumb, getting in there as close as you can, but you can see the rose itself is absolutely perfect. Now, just to point out to you, sometimes, because I just do see there is one marked rose in here, when you buy a bunch of roses, okay, except that chances are you are going to get a damaged or a marked one. So again, if you come in here close, you can see this was out the exact same bunch as the rest of them. And you can see there in close the way it's all marked. So you wouldn't be able to use that one in a particular wedding bouquet. Whether you'd get away with it in a table arrangement, it's completely up to you. As a florist, I'd probably say, no, don't use it. Probably um, discard this one. But again, for practicing on at home, it would be absolutely perfect to use. So what I'm trying to say to you is roses come in bunches of 20s. If you know that you need 20 roses, buy yourself an extra bunch as well, just to be on the safe side. If you order online through Holland, it is possible to order roses sometimes in tens. So maybe order 10 extra roses just to cover for any damaged ones or broken ones that may be in the bunch. Best of luck and I hope you picked up a few tips there.